even point moving averages are very similar to odd point moving averages but there's actually a second step because if you pull the average of these four points you'll notice that the center actually comes out in between two and three so there's actually a two-step process here so what we do is we add a couple more to, um, points to the table so what I'm going to do I'm going to put some points down there and that's where the moving average is going to go like so same as with the three point moving average and I've missed one right but then we do another line which is our centering we then take these two and center them so they will line up with the ones up the top there and they will they will be over a direct data point so that actually corresponds with the data point 3 up here so you work it out exactly the same way you add them up and you divide by 4 and that will go there and then you do the same here you center them by doing the same thing you add this one and this one and that will actually give you this value here so I'll run through and fill in this this mess of table that I've just drawn and be back with you in a second so there we are now so these points here these four points have come and that's the smooth data that corresponds to those data points up there so to graph it you would put that against three that against four that against five and that against six okay so this does the same thing as moving averages odd only there's an extra step here called centering and I think I've spelt that wrong definitely spelt that wrong let's try that again so same thing so step one find average step two you need to center the other points and you do that by finding average of I'll leave it up a little bit two points okay the more you practice this guys the easier it's going to get so I recommend you do all the suggested questions in the chapter there um, that is for D. Thanks very much.